Hi, welcome back. As Illinois prepares to enter phase three of the state's reopening strategy, we wanted to check in to see how local hospitals are doing. So we are joined by the medical director of infection prevention from Silver Cross Hospital in New Lenox, Dr. Atul Gupta. Dr. Gupta, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, can we start with how the situation is at your hospital? Sure. So at Silver Cross Hospital, um, we've always had a culture of safety. And so for us, although there was challenges with the new virus and something we hadn't seen before, we were very proactive about putting into place policies about PPE and staffing and patient isolation to keep everyone safe in the hospital and to be able to react quickly. And so we right now are doing really well. We've 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 seen the uh, the results of all that planning and we've been able to manage the outbreak really well. Uh, how about admissions? Because we heard the governor say that admissions are actually falling, decreasing in some of the hospitals. How about there? Uh, so we uh, are seeing the same thing. We had our, our peak in early April. Um, right now we have about 30, we're averaging about 30 inpatients who are positive for coronavirus. At our peak, we were about double that. And so we did see a, a small spike after Easter and a small spike after Mother's Day. Uh, but right now we've hit kind of a plateau. Um, and I think if you look at the uh, at, at our region and statewide, we're seeing the same thing. Okay. Um, and let's focus on tomorrow because businesses in Illinois are beginning to open back up. When will we be able to determine if this decision was made too soon? Is there like a timeline here of reopening and when we could potentially see an uptick, if at all? Well, first of all, let me say, I think uh, looking at, at, at all the data, I think it's not too soon right now to reopen. I think the state of Illinois um, has done a really effective job of managing this outbreak from our early lockdown rule um, to expanded testing. The governor's office and the IDPH have done a great job. I think opening tomorrow is reasonable. There are ways to do it safely. And I think I've been reviewing the, uh, the guidelines to reopen safely, and they're very well thought out. I think the most important part of that is masking. Uh, the virus is spread primarily through respiratory droplets. And if people are really good about wearing those masks when they're out with other people, I think we're going to do really well. As far as when we'll know, typically, well, if you're exposed to the virus, you'll develop symptoms within a couple of weeks. So I think within the next two to four weeks, we'll have a really good idea how things are going. Okay, well, that's good to know that you feel that the guidelines are good and in order, and that's a good time to open. Um, so as an infectious disease doctor, you understand viruses better than any of us. So as we head into summer, is there any truth to the virus dying with warmer temperatures? That's a great question. Um, there is evidence that the virus will not survive on surfaces as long in warmer temperatures. But again, I can't stress enough, the vast majority of these infections are acquired by breathing in respiratory droplets from somebody else. We don't have much evidence that that's affected by temperature. It's mostly affected by the masks. So while there'll be some, hopefully, uh, improvement over the summer, um, we still have to be very careful. And let me stay on masks for just a second here, because some people think that masks actually could be unhealthy for them. What's your stand on that? There's no evidence of that. Um, there are certain very, very small numbers of people who have underlying lung conditions for whom masks are not recommended, and they should certainly discuss with their doctors. All the evidence otherwise does point to the safety of masks. I hear a lot of things about building up carbon dioxide um, and actually uh, making the virus stronger by wearing a mask. Those are definitely not true. Thank you for debunking that. We appreciate it. So there are also currently more than 100 vaccine efforts underway. This is actually worldwide. That's according to the World Health Organization. So the fail rate we know of getting a vaccine right is very high. What is the likelihood that we will have a vaccine by the end of the year? Vaccine development is very tricky. And typically to get a vaccine to market safely takes about 10 to 15 years. Uh, we uh, have uh, uh, seen a lot of promising vaccine candidates right now. There are at least two or three that are very promising. It's hard to prognosticate about exactly when they'll be available. The manufacturers are saying they're hoping to have them available by the end of the year. But uh, I think um, the vaccine development will be very important, but it's too early to tell. And Dr. Gupta, before I let you go, what do you want us to know? Uh, there's two main things. Um, uh, that I think people need to understand. One, I just want to make sure that people really understand uh, what our, our frontline nurses are doing for all of us. Their, their uh, dedication and professionalism, they're seeing the, the, the ravages that this disease will have on patients every day and the toll it takes on them emotionally and mentally um, is, is, I think, unrecognized. 
Um, our nurses are our greatest resource when it comes to this, and uh, I just want people to know um, how lucky we are to have such great nurses in our community. The other thing is um, I want people to really understand that the hospitals right now are safe places to be. Uh, a lot of people are putting off getting their medical conditions treated because they feel afraid to go to the hospitals. And I want people to understand the hospitals are safe and I don't want them to put off. And I, I, I want to say, please, if you have medical issues that need to be attended to, come to the hospital so we can start helping you right away. You know, every doctor that we have interviewed has shared that specific message not to be afraid to go to the hospitals. We know that the work you do is very important. We appreciate it tremendously. Dr. Gupta, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.